we want to support local economies. But it starts with knowledge. It starts with you being aware of where your stuff comes from. The thing that I advocate a lot when I go out and talk to the apparel industry, we need to get our act together. And a perfect example of that, I got two questions for you. First of all, can somebody tell me, and I would offer you some money because I normally do that, we won't hassle with it today. But without looking at the label of your shirt, tell me where your product was made. I mean, no, are you guessing or you know? Most people have no clue. They bought it because of price. They bought it because of style. They never asked the question where it was manufactured. But I assure you, over 95% of this all, the products you wear today are made overseas. One thing I learned with NAFTA that I do not want to repeat again, we want to put a face behind the product. So next time when you go buy that product and save a little money, you'll know it's Ronnie, it's Brian and myself and the people stand behind it. One thing we did is we started something called Track Your Shirt. Every shirt we produce of that season will have the year in which the cotton was harvested on the shirt. So what happens, you go to the website, you say if you've got a harvest or not, and you can see all the people that are involved in producing the t-shirt. But we take it one step further than that. When you click on any of those things, you get this screen. You get Ronnie. <laughs> not, not only do we give you Ronnie's picture, we give Ronnie's email, we give Ronnie's phone number, we give Ronnie's address. One thing I told these guys when we put this program together is, Step one is complete transparency. For you to be involved with this program, there are no secrets. Mortex uh, was started by my father in 1984. We had no financing. He, he, I was a, a senior in high school, and he said he wanted to start an apparel line um, or an apparel manufacturing company uh, and uh, needed my college fund to do it. <laughs> so... You know, when you're, when, when you're a senior in high school, who cares, right? So let me talk a little bit about Cotton of the Carolinas because that's why I'm here. Um, his vision was something that I was told could never happen as a textile person. You can't take cotton out of one field, gin it, spin it, and make a T-shirt out of it. You know, you, you, they don't teach you that in textile school. I'm not a textile school grad, but, but I've, that's, it's what I know. Um, you know, the, the key to making shirts or t-shirts or yarn is you blend it all and you bring it in from here and there and everywhere, everywhere else. You blend it all to get a nice staple and, and, and then you have a yarn you can run. Eric came to us, uh, wanted us to do cotton of the Carolinas. We're going to pick it out of this field. We're going to gin it, spin it, and you're, you know, you're going to make cloth. Okay. Um, <laughs> You know, it's, it's reckless optimism, really. <laughs> so, uh, I'm, I'm, I've been called, called an old man this week, but I'm young enough to be stupid enough to try. <laughs> and uh, it worked. You know, who knew? It worked. And, and that's what, it's his vision. Um, before, and, the, and I'll end with this, before I got involved with this, I never knew this guy right here. I, I had no, I, you know, I knew somebody grew it. I didn't know if it was, there's fiber coming in from everywhere. I, I was, you know, just this year I rode in his picker. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> you know, so this is, this is the connection. Uh, and and it, it is what Mortex is all about. Uh, you know, my customers can call me any, any time, any day, uh, day or night, and know that I'm in it with them uh, and I care and together we can build a business. What we were finding is when we work with Brian every year to place our orders, and we want to work with domestic organic cotton producers, but Brian's coming back to me and says, I can't get it. I can't find it. It's not available. So we're going to places like Pakistan and India to get our organic cotton. And we ship it all, that yarn all the way to this facility in Wendell, North Carolina to produce our T-shirts. We said there's something wrong with this picture here. North Carolina, my state, the fourth largest grower of cotton in the U.S. What do we do with that cotton? Ronnie grows it. Wes gins it. We put it on ship in Wilmington or Norfolk. It's over to Honduras. It's over to Asia. It's over to Africa. 
to make our t-shirts, to make our socks, then we put on ship and ship it all the way back to us. What does that mean? Try 17,000 miles on your t-shirt. We heard about food miles. 17,000 miles is what a t-shirt can travel before you even get it. So that's what we're up against, and that's the reason that we wanted to go a different direction. And one of our taglines is, we go dirt to shirt in 750 miles. I am passionate about what I do. I farm. I grew up on a farm. I, I'm attached to the land. Uh, I'm sure if anyone in the audience is, is somewhat like myself, uh, you know what I'm talking about. I always call my dad a progressive farmer. He always was looking at new things, new try this, we'll try that. He always included me in those decisions when I got old enough to do that. Unlike you, Brian, he didn't take my college fund. <laughs> we didn't have one. <laughs> we feel like we're the the ultimate environmentalist, we always have been. We always try to take care of our own facilities and pass it on to the next generation. Transparency is one thing. I welcome you to come to the farm anytime. We, I can talk farming as long as you'll listen. So Ronnie grows a heck of a lot of cotton there, but any of our customers can drive up to his house on a Sunday morning and knock on his door, and Ronnie's going to know how they got there. And that's the model we want to change because that's one thing we've lost in business today it's behind that door over there, and just don't ask any questions, but we'll take good care of you. This is our complete supply chain, from Ronnie to TS Designs. And as I said earlier, it is the only apparel line that I'm aware of that is completely transparent from the consumer all the way back to the farmer. Because we do a lot of things that are not perfect, but I feel the best way to do that is gain the trust. The best way to gain trust is put it all out there. Thank you all so much for your time, your interest. Thank you so much for Bali for what you do and making this possible. <laughs>